Hello, YouTube. As they say at the bar, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, so it's happy hour. And it's happy hour today was Colt 45 malt liquor. This was introduced in 1963 by the National Brewing Company. It's now brewed by the Paps. It is a, uh, on Beer Advocate, it scored uh, 60. It is scored a 64 by the Bros. It is 5.61 ABV, alcohol by volume. It was originally brewed by National Brewing Company, which is around Brewers Hill in the Baltimore area, the Brewers Hill area. We also had the Gunther Beer Company there. And we're going to open this, pop this, not this one, 22 ounce bomber, but the 40 ounce. And we're going to see what the hoopla is all about. Okay. Let's open this baby up. We're going to pour down a glass here. Has a nice golden color. Getting a pretty good head here. Got almost two inch, two inch head. Nice clear golden, little reddish tint. As you see there, minimal carbonation. We'll give the nose test trio real fast. See. Ah. And ooh, that's beer. That beer smell, malt, corn, a little honey, a little lemonish, lemony. Okay. As you can see, the head is dissipated a little bit there. We still got a clearly half an inch. Minimal lacing, but some lacing. Let's give it a taste test here. On 11points.com, it beats out Steel Reserve, Mickey's, St. Ives, uh, King Cobra, and Old English 800 to be the most iconic 40 ounce. And right now, I, you, you get that good, strong beer taste, kind of, it's a bit on the thin side, but. It's a good beer or partiers. It's got doesn't have the strong high alcohol taste that a lot of beers do that are uh, come in a malt liquor fashion. Mickey's another smooth one. This is the beer to go. This is a go-to beer. Baltimore area. A lot of people like this beer. All over the country. I'd say recommend it if you want to go out, uh, if you want to party a little bit and watch some football, fool around with your friends. I think this is, uh, as you can see, it's, it's not one of your better craft beers, that's for sure. It's a macro beer, but this is one of the, more, one of the better malt liquors, I think, in my opinion. I would recommend it. I would probably give it a somewhere between C plus, B minus, if you're rating alphabetically. And at least uh, from a scale to one to 100, I'd say uh, 75, 78. I like, I could sit uh, with these, you know, if I'm sitting at home watching TV, I sure don't want to have too many malt liquors, drink and drive. But remember, drink responsibly. Okay. and. Uh, It's a little, got a little bitter, bitter aftertaste, a little bitter finish there. It goes down pretty good though. I think this, I, I recommend the Colt 45 if you want to, if you're in the malt liquor uh, market, definitely pick up Colt 45 anytime. I think uh, this, this is the way to go. My, my wife likes uh, Old English. She, we, I've tried that. That's a little, that's a bit smoother too. I also enjoy the Mickey's, but this is my favorite. Colt 45 was uh, always big in the cans, uh, bottles uh, in the uh, Baltimore area, and it's uh, nationwide now. It's, it was uh, advertised by Billy D. Williams and 
and Red Fox initially, I think in the commercials in the old days. And uh, let you get another good look there. And cheers, you too. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Please, uh, please subscribe if you feel free. You feel free to subscribe and comment in the comment section. I appreciate you watching and have a great night. And we'll see you next time. And we'll and have a great night.